Hallelujah. Good morning to you all. Welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Reality. Today is Thursday 9 of May 2024 and today's topic is Pray in the Spirit Makes You Glow. Pray in the Spirit Makes You Glow. What a wonderful topic. Before we start, let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We give you all the praise because you are good and your mercies endure it forevermore. We thank you for this gathering this morning. Thank you for making it possible. And thank you for your word we are about to receive this morning. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to another edition of Rhapsody of Reality. And today's topic is Pray in the Spirit Makes You Glow. Psalm 4 verse 5 says, Keep your eyes on the Lord, you will shine like the sun and never blush with shame. Have you ever come out in the night time to look up at the stars? It is such a beautiful sight to behold. But did you know that in the spirit, when you look down on the earth, the same way you see those stars up in the sky, that is how you see stars of light in the earth. Hmm. The difference is that these stars you see in the spirit are us, God's children. The Bible says that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke. Oh, the will of God is sweet. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nature, nation, among whom ye shine as light in the world. Philippians 2.15 even though we are all stars, we glow differently. Mm, it's true. Some of us glow strongly, while others may not shine as brightly. In Luke 9.29, the Bible says about Jesus, and as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered, and his remnant was white and glittering. There's something about prayer that affects your spirit and causes it to glow. Others may not see the glow, glory all over you. The eyes may not be open to see it on your face. But as you pray in the Spirit, you are constantly transfigured from glory to glory. It is one of the reasons we emphasize praying in tongues. When you pray in tongues often, the glory of God is revealed in your life as you charge yourself up in the Spirit and store up the power of God inside of you. The Lord Jesus says, let your light so shine, Matthew 5 says. This means you are responsible for making your light glow more and more. The more you pray in the Spirit, the stronger your light. That is what enables you to do the work of God effectively and keep you healthy and strong. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prayer is the key. You see those wicked people, they tell you what they go through to get just you. <laughs> oh, they say they even, they even do self-fasting just to get you. That's to tell you, even when you don't pray, they have to do fasting. They have to, they have to join hands together, bind so many things, go and distract you with so many things just to get you. Not to talk of when you're praying. <laughs> that means they will wait forever. To get you, praise the Lord. Praying is very important. Don't be too carried. Don't let sleep take over you. Pray. Speak in an unknown tongues. It has helped me. Praise the Lord. Like just yesterday, I was having this chest bones. I didn't want to speak about it. But I have to talk about it now because God has given me victory. I, I was having this hard bond. I, I keep taking her, running, taking things. And I, I feel when I'm eating, it's like there's a sore. And when, I, when the food goes there, it just, phew, it's like fire in my chest, you know. So I was dealing with it. Then I mean, all of a sudden, I said, why am I dealing with this pain? Ah, my, why am I dealing with this pain? I have Jesus. And I just speak in tongues in my chest. I speak in tongues. And I pray, listen, people. Just listen to this beautiful. As I lay down to sleep, to wake up this morning, I had a visitation. And th this man was blessing me. And he was giving me so much blessing. Then I remember in the dream. And I said, oh, before you go, he was about to go. I said, oh, I have this chest pain. And he just lay hand in the chest. He said, you are ill already. So I woke up. So that is to tell you that whenever you pray, you get an encounter. Hallelujah. Prayer 
Hey, is the key, and that is why Satan distracts you. That's why there's so many things in the TV to distract you for the things of God. No, I can watch the TV, but when it comes to praying, when I know I need it, I create time for it because I know the power in it. Praise the Lord. I know the power. Create time to pray for your children. For those that have children, how can you be eating and sleeping? How can you? When, why you don't take out time? You don't fast for your children. You don't pray for your children. How do you want those children to live it? How, how? How do you want them to navigate their life? You should be praying because the children are your responsibility. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You should pray with them. You should pray for them. If you have husband, you have to pray for your husband. You have to. You have to stand the gap. If you want to have a beautiful marriage, a bit, yes, you can have it. When people say, oh, life is ups and down. Oh, man can. No. No, it's your confession. It's what you believe. I believe that I can be, my marriage can be good. I believe that man can treat me nicely. So that is what is in my mind. I don't believe what all those men are doing, what women are going through in marriage. I don't believe in those things. I believe that I'm a different species and I'm the light of the world. I get whatever I want. Hallelujah. Your mindset is it's very important when you're born again. Your mindset, how you think, hallelujah. I remember I didn't get married on time. Praise the Lord. I didn't get married on time. People keep saying, Oh, in London, there's no men, there's no men. But I never lack it. Praise the Lord, because it was my mentality. It has to do with something up here. I never lack it. They flaws, they flock with me. I'm the one that is a choosy, picky, picky, picky in the midst of when the women are complaining that there's no men in London. I was having it like because that was my mindset. I did not see any lack. When it comes to the children of God, we don't see lack. We see opportunities. Hallelujah. We are favored because as pastor said, we are stars. Our light shines. Who will not attract you? You are a blessing today. Come on. They will be attracted to you. Praise the Lord. Because I'm a light. I get attracted to different places. Praise the Lord. So it's your mindset. So you need to change your mindset. Don't ever.